Hello everybody, in this episode I'm going to show you how to make a mod pack for 1.7.10 Now I have a uh, no modded, yeah I have a no modded uh, Minecraft Like you can see if you press the profile there's nothing right um, If you modded before make sure you have no mods in your mods folder To check that you need to press your windows key and then R Like hold your windows key and then press R Press OK and then there's another way to do it Just hover your mouse to your upper right of your screen and have it hold it there until this thing pop up. Press search Windows um, number seven should have it like at the bottom left. Not sure about Max though, but this is a Windows tutorial. You see, there's Windows, so you can search that percent app data percentage, or you can press your Windows key, and then there's the search right here. Search, and then you can press percent app data percentage. Where's my percentage key? There it is, percentage, and press enter. Then uh, you have your dot .minecraft. Double click dot .minecraft, and you see there's, uh, mine's like that, because I just deleted my dot .minecraft, so I show for this tutorial, and press play. Uh, some more stuff should pop up, I can see. So right now it's pressing play, you don't need that. But, okay, so first off, you will need Forge. So here's the website to it. Uh, it's been a while since it got here. Um, let me open Notepad for you guys, so I can put down every uh, information. No forge. So first, you need to forge, and then you can see there's no 1.8, so I can't do 1.8 tutorials. But you can see there's a recommended. Go for it, and then click the installer. Now I won't show you guys me clicking it just because of AdFly, and AdFly. You know what AdFly is, right? Because it's those uh, advertisement links that is not allowed on YouTube, so I cannot put the uh, AdFly links in my description below because there's a chance of me getting my channel taken down. Because that sucks, right? Because it's not accurate enough. So I'll get to see you guys after I download it. Okay, so I just downloaded it, okay? Now, um, nothing may have not happened when you click the skip ad, right? When you skip the five seconds. That's because your browser is like, oh no, it's a, a, a threat, right? Because it's an advertisement. It's like spam for your computer, but that's the risk of installing mods. But you can request, refresh the page and it may download it. Then you can press skip add. I, I had to refresh and you see I downloaded Forge. So I direct that into the desktop. Now, uh, yeah, your computer may say this uh, this file, it's uh, dangerous. Uh, that's the only way that I can think of of running mods. Like it's a very stable way. I don't know if there's any other way, but most ways it's just uh, the Forge way. So um, most of you guys. Well, first you have to double click it with the, I don't think, should my be on? We'll, we'll close it for now. Okay, so you have the forge. Uh, yeah, some of you may have it open like this. Open with Rinrar. Like when you double click it, you'll, you'll, it'll show you this. You don't need, this is not how you do it. Um, to do it, well, if you double click it, this is what's supposed to happen. A mod install window should open. So you right click, open with Java. That's how you do it. I can see my window open, so you need to open with Java. Most uh, computer has it like that. And you want the install client, so click OK. Uh, you need to run the one, the manual. Okay, you have to run the version 1.7.10 once, because uh, what Forge is saying is that it needs a file for 1.7.10. So I'll open Minecraft once again. I'll edit my profile just because I want it to uh, hide and reopen. Yeah, I want it to reopen, so it's simpler for me. So uh, the profile, right? Here's Johnson T. Uh, you didn't install any mods, right? You'll, there's, there's only one profile. You, you didn't mess with it. So add a profile. Use the latest version. No, we have one point seven point ten, and click save profile. Press play. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Downloading all my files. And you see, is there anything happening here? No. Whoops. I clicked something. Okay. There you go. We got one point seven point ten. Now we double click it. Install client. There we go. And now we'll have Forge. Okay, so once it's done installing, it says successfully install the client. Press OK. So now you have Forge. So to get to Forge, so I close Minecraft, right? And you have to reopen it. I just, you know how the option I did, right? Where it reopens when I close it. So close profile. I say I think you have to close your whole Minecraft. Might as well. Because Forge is supposed to show up. So actually, yeah, there's a new file being created. Nice. So here's the... Uh, your profile again. There's a forge and you go to the right of the screen. It says Johnson T updated to forge 1.7.10 Now to make sure that you have forge installed press play and 
three mods should show up there. There's three mods. You can press mods over here. You have all the forge. Now, what happens if you want a multiple mod yeah, mod pack? So now we need the mods. We have forge. Now we need the mods. Okay, so we close Minecraft. And you see there's already a mods folder already created. Make sure that's empty because before, if you modded before, make sure it's empty. Got to make sure. Now. Okay, so I found this website called 9minecraft.net. Now these are, there's multiple, a video made, was made uh, by Vox saying that there's also a bunch of uh, non-legit um, mod sources, mod downloads out there and they're not supporting the the mod maker. So I would like to ask you to actually go to the mod maker's uh, website and download from there if you want. But both sides do have uh, spam or malware that could affect your computer. So be cautious on just installing the mod packs. All right, so I'm going to add forge in here. Okay, there we go. We have two downloads. You need forge first, step one, and step two, get your mod packs. Now, what happens if you want a specific uh, mod pack, like me? I want a uh, a mod pack for Minecraft Comes Alive. But you see there's mods for 1.7 or 1.8.1 and 1.8, right? But there's no forge for it. Well, it'll be unstable. So might as well go for a stable one, which is 1.7.10 at the release of this video. And you see uh, the first page is usually the latest and then the last page is usually the oldest so you'll expect like the stable mods to be uh, that last page because that's where they are so there may be some mods that are not compatible with, with each other so it's good to install it one by one but you install it like 20 by 20 if you want if you're that risky but if it crashes that means you have to take out the mods that are crashy but it seems like uh, this this website it does not have AdFly, so I can show you guys the actual download for it, so it works. So that's a way, so to make sure that you can download it. I see there's lots and lots of mods that you can add to your mod pack every day. This website website gets uh, updated uh, for, uh, to more to add more mods, so you, you can add to your mod pack. And you see there's lots of mod makers out there. I'm just looking for Minecraft comes alive, right? Because that's the uh, the main focus of it. So we see a better slime mod, Zelda mod. Okay, so if you didn't find your mod pack, right? It's somewhere, it's, it's a big library, 92 pages, more than that. Like I'm looking for Minecraft Comes Alive because that's my base mod. And if that uh, doesn't work with, let's say Pixamon, uh, I'm gonna remove Pixamon, right? I don't want to remove um, Minecraft Comes Alive. And it's better to have a base mod first, right? Because what happens if Minecraft Comes Alive doesn't work with Ray's Minimap, for example? So I have to remove both of them and it seems like, yeah, you want to find your base mod first because that's your, your core mod, your, your mod to start with. But it's a big library, you cannot find it. And I don't think there's a search yet. This is just, there's no search button on this website. And you go on Google and look up Minecraft Comes Alive. There it is, one point, yeah. And then... See, here's the actual forums for it. Uh, that's what is about uh, supporting the, the, the mod makers. And here's the download. I can see there's download 1.7.10 and we want a, uh, it takes Redux core for Minecraft Comes Alive. But uh, let's see, download now. Okay, so I may not, like right here, if it doesn't download. I may not show, oh, you don't need to, to, uh, <laughs> that's pretty nice. I, uh, before it was all like, uh, the ad fly. If it shows AdFly, I have to cut it. So I'll download right now for race car. Oh, this one doesn't show AdFly. Okay, cool. That's very, very nice. So we got Radar's car also. So here's my mod pack. Mods, right? Here's here's my macro folder. Remember, it was Windows R, then app data, if you want to get here. Uh, so we got the dot Minecraft. Like, I think you have this window. Don't close any windows. Just follow the instructions. So here's the mod section, right? Uh, in, in the dot Minecraft. Here's that, right? right? So we're in the roamings folder and we have the dot minecraft and then we have the mods folder. All right. Now this is the downloads page for uh, Mozilla. Google Chrome will be back here. If you click it, you'll see it like this, right? On the screen. You just drag it straight to your um, mods folder. So you have race car and Minecraft comes alive. If you can't find it, you can always click um, find it 
on downloads and then find your the folder or jar of the micro console live and just drag it inside your mods folder. Now let's see if it works. I'll open up Minecraft uh, and then Forge. I have to edit profile just because I want to it to open back to this, this screen so that it's I, it's easier to install mods. So we press play. Now the more mods you have, the more time it will take Minecraft to load, right? Because it loads up all the mods. Well, while it loads, we're going to find more mods. Why not, why not do it? Because that was nice for Minecraft Chronicles Live to not show AdFly because that's very YouTube friendly. Uh, we'll go 85. Okay, it's loaded. Okay, right here. So Minecraft, five mods. That's how you know uh, the mod work for that race car and Minecraft comes Live. Um, and to test it, single player, create new world. Uh, we'll go cheat mode. Where's cheat mode? There's cheat mode. Default, and then yeah, create new world. It will say name, gender, everything. Does it work? It's basically you just need to uh, mods for my calculator. There it is, gender male next, name Johnson T, and then the, the tags if you want it. And now you have to look up to find a village to have to find a wife and all that. But I do have the Mo village. The, uh, so it's easier to find them, right? Find more villages. But oh, Filmler's mod, that helps me sprint faster. So I'm gonna get that. Uh, basically you just scroll down, like it tells you the description on the, the mods, like here's the book and all that. Like you follow my Minecraft Chronicles live series, you may notice what this is. You scroll down, it says for Minecraft 1.5, 0.6, 7, and 10. Now you may want the extended pack, which includes like Herobrine, you want default mobs, you want extended, and you want API. So save, 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 everything. Save, 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 so we uh, download 4. Go to your mods folder. Go to your downloads, just drag it all in there. Now you may uh, notice that I cannot drag anymore just because the file has gone into my mods folder so it doesn't um, drag anymore. And there's the fourth one, fourth one API. Now once you drag it in, you don't have uh, <laughs> the actual familiars in this one. You have to close Minecraft again and reload it. That's how the mod works. So let's close all these new top I open. And as you can see, I just clicked these four downloads. There's no ads, but be careful. This website does calls mal malware and uh, spam into your computer. So be careful. Make sure you have like uh, antivirus or any protection that will protect you from any uh, bugs from the internet. I do cause, it's very, very cautious. Oh, mook chickens. I love mook chickens. Um, okay, let's scroll down. And as you can see, I'm, I'm, this is the, the fifth mod I install without um, reopening, right? Because more chickens can crash my Minecraft. And right here, you click the blue download. And now you see, there's the closest one. This is spam. You don't need this. It may install something bad to your computer. That, that's why your computer may say, oh no, watch out, this mod may crash the computer or whatever. But yeah, and you see, mine's already stable. Four is stable. Everything works. So we'll, we'll chest, not test, chest. We'll test more chickens. So we close Minecraft. And we see it will be brought to the screen, maybe. Uh, this is more chicken. I don't need more chicken. Okay, there. And now we play again. Like, this is closing your Minecraft and reopening it. See, it takes a while for it to load. Uh, let's see. What else can we find while this thing loads? We'll go page 87. Schematica. Better rain. I can see there's 95 times 10. So that's a thousand mods for you guys to. Look up if you want it. Candycraft looks a different dimension though, but I don't need it for Minecraft Comes Alive. I'm looking for like mobs. Yeah, this is a, a good mob. I see there's 10 mods already. If you go to mods, you go familiar with API, extended, uh, more chickens also. It's so done. Now, actually, I won't minimize it. Uh, a single player. I can see this one. Uh, the the new stuff that you, you added, if there's terrain, they'll spawn in into the new chunks. So you won't see the stuff in the old chunks. Let's delete this because we want new chunks. I want spawn to be new chunks. And then create new world. Okay, so we, I want this tragedy. It looks, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's bosses. Holy cow, okay, I want this one. Uh, so I want 1.7.10, tragic jar. Uh, let's go to media fire. Media fires have a lot of spam too. Look, there's this thing, you press download. A window should open like that, close to spam. Oh no, where'd it go? There it is, close this thing, Roblox. I don't, 
I don't want Roblox and you see tragic save file make sure the file name is the same thing as the mod packs or the mod that you're installing so there's tragic already installed close tragic uh, once you open it just close it right away it, you may save yourself from spam okay so we want the gender we have, we have Minecraft comes alive installed uh, Johnson T and then there so let's see if we have the chicken installed um, or familiars as you can see there's no chickens though usually it takes a while for the 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 mod to show itself but if it's uh, a rare uh, or a common occurrence then you may see them around and you see I'm a survival island so this is a terrible example for me to show you guys so we'll install more mods to show um, a more occurrence so oh I want volumeters that sounds interesting I said I'm already at 10 uh, mods already but I'm planning to have 50 so you can go crazy if you want holy cow this is always electric creepers let's have that uh, we'll go first one you see uh, nine minecraft has its own spam up oh, we don't want this folder any window that opens is spam so better close it before it affects your computer so we want meteors drag and drop now I'll, I'll, th I'll do it with the Google Chrome way don't worry so once that's installed um, is this open uh, we want quick game and then we want to play it again I think yeah we want to play it again just show the uh, the 12 mod we added alchemy's mod alchemy ship necromancy what is this meant necromancy ship goblins and giants basically I want a mod pack to have like crazy amount like a, a adventure for the Minecraft Con slide okay so I downloaded the necromancy mod so I'll go to my downloads and you find so here's the download right all Google Chrome should have downloads or window yeah Windows should have all downloads then you look for necromancy M N N ne necro why isn't it there this PC Windows this PC downloads Nick or you have to refresh the page necromancy mod see and then you drag it into your mods folder there so there's two ways of dragging your mods to your mods folder and I see I have 12 mods loaded let's go single player create new world so you get the gif of it right you just uh, keep on testing it I don't think there'll be any conflicts because 1.7.10 is a very stable mod pack or, or forge the forge is really really uh, good it won't crash that often so what is this minecraft light that's pretty basically oh my goodness look at that there's a doom my mod <laughs> pack has some doom level now oh my goodness I'm gonna have so much fun with this mod pack so yeah that's basically the the, the gif of it like uh, you can see there's no minecraft but there's a doom which makes it modded um, not enough item I would uh, recommend that mod for your mod pack just because it tells you how to craft some stuff like the basic not enough item but I'll have a tutorial on how to install not enough items to your mod pack so don't worry about that uh, I'm just laying hardcore because right, it's generating more land I remember all the modded stuff generates hardcore land so it may lag a bit so wait for it to load yeah so that's all for this episode have fun installing mods for 1.7.10 remember because 1.8 is uh, too new Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.